Hello again, Kevin Lindgren here. Time to show you how to start finding products by just using the title. Um, right now we're sourcing from Amazon, so I'm on the Amazon homepage. We're going to go over to eBay and find some sellers that are selling the exact same items I'm going to show you um, for a profit. Um, if you find a product, you don't necessarily have to list that product right off. What you're really doing is looking for the sellers. So uh, when you're first starting, um, you can pretty much type in any word in the Amazon thing. Let's try sleek. Um, you know, wood, red, anything. <clears throat> a lot of times it'll try to show you the most relevant um, but if there happens to be a brand name, which it looks like there is, um, you want to just see all results. So, um, the next thing you almost always want to do is to get rid of a lot of this uh, stuff that you would probably never list. Click on, uh, you know, see all the categories and scroll down. And I usually go to Home and Kitchen. Or sometimes maybe go to sports and outdoors, tools and home improvement, toys and games, patio, lawn and garden. Um, home and kitchen is one of their bigger categories. Okay, this brought up 23,000 results for the word sleek. So what I'm doing now is just simply looking for prime items that are about $35 or more. The reason for that is first of all you look for prime because that is either sold by amazon or a third party and it's in amazon's warehouse uh, which amazon will ship and you know uh, do all the customer service for you um, the reason i do 35 dollars is because that's usually their threshold for free shipping do not use prime for this uh, business uh, free shipping because um, it's against their terms of service for Prime to use it commercially. So what I'm doing is kind of looking down. Uh, wow. Furniture polish for $85. Wow. That's kind of expensive. Um, but it's not Prime anyway. So, Okay. Here is a, a floor lamp. $79.99 was $129.00. So let's just copy that, and I'm just going to go Control C to copy. Go over to eBay, paste it in Control V, and hit search. Now again, it doesn't matter if you exactly match up. You should be able to find the exact thing. I don't want to go. This is a warm white. And I may actually get on somebody that has a black or a pink one. It doesn't really matter. Okay, the price is $79.99. Let's make sure of that. So here's somebody selling it for the exact price. Um, you don't want to do that. You will see sometimes somebody selling one for you know, less. They may have found a cheaper supplier. Do not worry about that. Um, that's one of the biggest things a lot of people get hung up on is saying, well, they're selling it for 59 How am I ever going to make a profit? Um, see, this guy's got it listed the same one for 119 Here is 93.14. Six already sold at that price. So what I'm going to do is say, hey, this is a pretty good dude. Maybe. Let's check him out. Um, this product's already got a couple of good product ratings. Um, this guy or store has a lot of feedback, very high percentage, so great. And you know it's sold because it already says six sold. If you ever want to, you can click on it and see, you know, they may have been selling it cheaper and then raise the price, but for our you know what we're doing here don't worry about it okay so now if it was me i know this is going to sell for at least that amount um so you may want to list it at um 89.99 um or you know 92.99 um 
So there's one product right there that fast. So let's see other items. Um, actually, hold on, wait, 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 let's go back. Um, how to know if you're going to make a profit. Um, I'm going to pull up a notepad. And I don't have the fancy uh, calculator and all that. I probably do somewhere. I just don't know where it is. Okay. When you're figuring out your price, you have to work backwards. Okay. Um, I'll explain what I mean in a second. So if you are going to sell it for $92.99, okay, you know you have a 10% eBay fee and about a 5% PayPal fee. PayPal is only about 3%. Um, then you know um, in a lot of states you're going to have taxes. So what I normally do is uh, just take off 20%. So... 92.99 minus 20%. So after all the fees, taxes, uh, shipping, or not shipping, but uh, PayPal, minus 20, oh Lord, I never use percent. Percent. That would be... 74.39 or somewhere in there and it's 79 so you got to list it for a little bit more so how you know again don't start from the front and go forward you know don't say okay it's 79 uh, I wanted to make 20% or 25% um, because it, it doesn't quite work out that way. So you know that wasn't quite enough at that price. And so let's try 99.99 minus 20% is 79.99. So if you list it at ninety nine point nine nine minus twenty percent, it's going to be seventy nine point nine nine or break even. We don't want to break even, obviously. So on this one. You would probably have to list it because you want to make at least $5 to $10 on each item. I would try it at 109.99. And this was kind of a bad example um, because you want to find something right off the bat that you're in profit on. But let's try this. Um, if you list it at 109.99. Oops. 109.99 minus 20% is 87.99 or a 8 uh, dollar profit cool so there you go um, that's pretty much all you gotta do, and, um, I do want to warn you about one thing when you are first starting out, you want to list a vast amount of different types of items. Don't list this as black, and then do another listing of it as white, and another listing of it as silver, um, because you could have 20, you know, a hundred listings of just floor lamps. Um, if nobody is 
deciding to look for floor lamps, you're going to be, you know, dead in the water, not making any sales. So when, especially when you first start out, just get a wide variety of stuff. Okay, N now, oops, um, I would go ahead and list this probably, um, as you know about the price you're going to need to sell it for. Um, again, it was a bad example because I would, you know, look for somebody would have already known the price that I needed to sell it for to make a profit. Um, and I just kind of usually do that in my head. Um, but once you find a seller selling an item from your supplier, which is Amazon, um, <clears throat> this is called Zeph Store. Let's see their other items. This pulls up their stores. This is a big store. They have 13,633 listings. Okay. So you can go through and kind of see what they got. Um, and you can see what's selling. Victoria Glass Pane. There's only one left. Um, that's really weird. Tangy Tangerine. I personally stay away from food and stuff like that. And uh, vitamins. Um, I don't do electronics. Um, wow. A win. Uh, drill press um, and eBay does something weird it well not weird it's kind of nice actually trending at 67.87 they're selling at ten dollars cheaper means they have a very good supplier for this um, so and later on I'll show you how to get better and better suppliers and better and better um, things it looks like quite a bit of this is actually amazon if you see a full white background it's all a lot of times it's amazon all white background this is not an amazon picture probably um a lot of this stuff is amazon so you can just scroll down and find stuff that's you know in your price range that you want to list um and it is selling like this one is not showing as selling uh i usually scroll down you know a few and because it'll show some of their most popular items right off the bat you can also scroll down show only and click on sold listings and it'll show you what they've sold very recently june 29th today um, they've sold a uh, waterbed heater full watt, $69. They sold yesterday a twin loft bed silver color. Um, yesterday they also sold a wooden desk chair. They also sold a poof, floor ottoman poof. Uh, yesterday they also sold a retro counter chair. Uh, wow, that's a good price. I sell those all the time for a little bit more than that. Um, they also sold a construction set. And if you notice, these are all different types of stuff. You know, some, you know, construction sets like tools and that's home. Uh, or, you know, maybe garage and that's um, obviously home furniture. That's office furniture. That's kids furniture. Um home and all of this stuff sold yesterday sold 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 now when you find a seller like this what I like to do is go through find three or four things that I can find at Amazon the lamp was one thing that you may want to already list let's see if I can find something else that I I know it's probably selling. So, uh, let's see if this is an Amazon item. Uh, what I'm doing again is by title, copying the title, going back to Amazon. Now I need to get out of all these search results. So what I do is click on the Amazon logo and back to the main page. That's important to remember on here and eBay. 
So you type that in and let's see if this is actually a, yeah, there it is. Um, 79 exclusively for Prime members though. So this is probably selling somewhere else. Um, yeah, again, another horrible example for you, but I will be doing several more videos on how to find items, so that's all you have to do, just out of curiosity, you got to find something here, and by the way, these uh, titles are horrible, um, we'll be showing you how to do a lot better titles, Let's see if that's in there. There it is. Um, $70. Oh, it's plastic. I was going, wow, 300 pieces for that. Um, they're selling it for 87. They're barely making anything. They probably have a better supplier. Um, but like you know you can go through find three or four items um, and list them and then what I do is go ahead and uh, find you know start all over again choose a different word over at Amazon make sure you click that when you start over make sure once you're done with you know going through this sellers stuff you click on ebay logo that gets you started back at the front page now uh in the beginning you should only be listing about two to three items a day um at the most it is better on ebay to list a couple one or two items every day than it is to try to list 15 or 20 once a week um doesn't look as good on your uh, metrics um, if you only you know do it once a week um, and list in a couple three items uh, for instance on that last seller over on here on eBay all you had to do was write down his seller name um, and then when you go to search just go to advanced search um, click on buy seller and type in his seller's user ID and click search um, I don't even remember what it was but Zef store or something like that um, paste it in and click search his store will come up then you can just click on sold listings so you could list like two today from him and then maybe two tomorrow that way you don't have to do another search tomorrow um, the day after that, I would find a new seller um, and just, again, start all over a different search word over here um, and then, uh, you know, find the seller, see what they've sold. Um, the whole point is finding sellers that are selling on Amazon right now. Um, right now, let's stick to Amazon um, as your supplier because... Uh, one, they have very good customer service, very easy returns if there's ever a problem. Um, it's actually easy to navigate. Later on, I will be showing you other suppliers that you can get better deals on. Okay, that's it for uh, finding a product by title. Um, thank you and have a good day.